sin perder más tiempo, vamos a hablar ya directamente con um, Graham Henkel, el jefe de ingenieros del Viper SRT 2014, el auto que vamos a estar probando esta semana por aquí en las calles de Miami. Hi, uh, we're with uh, Graham Henschel, uh, Viper Chief Engineer, uh, and uh, we have the great opportunity to drive this car this week. Unfortunately, right now I'm in California, but I'm going to get the car on Wednesday, so a couple of days from now. So what can you tell me about this car? What should I know, or anybody who is listening, what do people know about this fabulous car? Uh, well, the, the car you'll be driving this week, Javier, is a, is a new 2014 SRT Viper GTS Coupe. Um, and uh, the Viper, of course, is, um, is the flagship of our street and racing technology brand, SRT. And, uh, you know, SRT is a, a, a lineup of extreme high-performance cars we build uh, for a variety of buyers. There's, there's a 300, there's a Charger, there's a Challenger SRT, there's a, a very popular new Grand Cherokee SRT model. And the, the Viper is uh, kind of the pinnacle of the SRT brand lineup. Um, and the car you'll be driving is the, uh, the richest of the SRT Vipers. It's our GTS Coupe. Um, the GTS is, is really new for this fifth-generation Viper. Is a new model of the Viper that, that responds to how much, um, you know, the world of supercars has evolved in the last decade. Yeah. Um, the Viper, in its original incarnation, you'll recall, 20 years ago, was, was intended as a modern interpretation of, of the old Shelby Cobras from the 60s. And, and, um, and that was a very elemental, basic, uh, lightweight sports car with a big bore motor in it. And the Viper, power, power and speed, right? Exactly. Not, man, not much sophistication in it. Right. Not a lot of refinement, but boy, it just looked gorgeous and went like stink. So, um, and that was the formula that Viper successfully followed for several generations. And, but, you know, one thing, a funny thing happened as we were kind of getting through Gen 4 and, and fifth generation. A lot of the people who owned and loved their Vipers kept telling us, You know, I love the performance of the car, but I, you know, I keep seeing other, you know, European in particular supercars, and uh, and maybe and many of these are wealthy buyers who own Ferraris and other um, outstanding exotic cars, and and they would tell us, you know, I really wish this car had a richer interior in it, and and so when we did the new Viper GTS model in particular, that was one of the key things we worked on was to to make it a no-excuses, world-class interior. So, um, fortunately, um, SRT Viper is a part of the same corporate family as Ferrari today. So when we started this project three, three and a half years ago, we went directly to Italy to meet with Ferrari and to learn about how they did low-volume, leather-wrapped interiors. And And we learned a lot about how to execute this world-class interior. So the new Viper responds to that. And, and essentially, when you get this GTS model, we've wrapped everything inside in the gorgeous, most gorgeous, richest leather you can get. The, the full dashboard is wrapped in leather. The doors are leather-wrapped. And it's all hand-wrapped. There's no machines that are doing this. The floor console's wrapped. The upper console's wrapped. Of course, the seats are are full, fully leather. Um, the A-pillars are wrapped in leather. I mean, we basically wrapped everything that you could possibly touch in leather, and it smells gorgeous inside, and it looks gorgeous. But that's not all we did. Obviously, we also upgraded to the most modern electronics inside the car. You'll see that we have a, a much more modern instrument cluster that allows you to reconfigure the gauge displays Um, as you're driving the car, you might, for example, when you're on the street, you might want to know uh, what direction am I heading in some of the auxiliary yeah. gauges. You may want to know what's the temperature or, you know, um, how long till I run out of fuel or whatever. Um, when you're on the racetrack, you might want to know what, what is my real-time tire pressure at any of the four tires. Wow. So, 
so you can reconfigure the the uh, instruments to show you what data you want depending on where you're driving it. So, so kind of a much more modern reconfigurable electronic instrument cluster. We also have our top of the line uh, 8.4 inch full touch screen in the uh, the center stack of the car. So that allows you to with at the touch of the screen, you know, change radio settings, uh, very modern navigation system. Um, outstanding stereo system you'll see, and and you can spend literally hours playing with all the modern electronics on the center stack. And uh, what about um, uh, we haven't talked much about the engine? Obviously, <laughs> I mean this car yeah. is known for that. I was just going to shift gears <laughs> to the power because train. into the day, as gorgeous as and modern as it is inside, it's still a Viper. So so um, on the engine side um, we've increased the power to another 40 horsepower over the last car to 640 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque and all that is in an engine package that's about 25 pounds lighter than the old car was so it's more power less weight significantly um, on the the body itself we didn't talk about that but um, that was probably one of the biggest stories outside the car is we uh, we took a no excuses attitude toward the body of the new Viper. Um, the new car uses uh, the entire upper body uses um, aerospace grade uh, full pre preg carbon fiber bodywork that's handmade in America. Um, so the roof, the hood, the deck lid, the entire upper body is all hand laid up carbon fiber. And you, you can see that when you open the hood or when yeah. you open the deck lid, you'll see the exposed weave. But those parts... And uh, that, that saves how much weight and compared, compared to the old car? Yeah, on the upper body, um, the carbon fiber saved about 70 pounds versus the old SMC molded uh, body of the, the uh, old car. And frankly, this is, I mean, this is the the uh, material that Formula One monocoques are made out of. I mean, the Formula One cars are hand laid up by teams of experts one at a time, and that's how the body of every single Viper is made by hand one at a time, and it's incredibly slow. If, if I could show you that process, it, it just takes time. It's amazing how much goes into these parts. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's the stiffest, lightest um, body that we could put on the car. And of course, there's some other materials used. We have structural magnesium and uh, uh, extruded and stamped aluminum bits in different parts, each part optimized to the application of the, the car to, to really keep weight as reduced as possible. And at the end of the day, even though we added some noise absorption materials to, to make the car a little more civilized, the, the new Viper ended up 150 pounds lighter than the old Viper. So again, more power, less weight. And you don't have to, you, to study supercars for long to see that, that uh, that's an unusual trend in supercars today. Um, most supercars are getting more powerful, although they're rarely as powerful as the Viper. Um, but the truth is most of them are also getting a lot heavier. And the yeah. Viper is unique um, among our, you know, many of our uh, imported competitors and domestic in that we lost weight successfully with the fifth generation car you're going to be driving. Yeah, yeah. we're talking with Graham Henkel, uh, Viper Chief Engineer. And uh, tell me a little bit about it. You were saying that you went to Italy to start working with Ferrari on, on this. What specific parts that, uh, that, that uh, joined the uh, collaboration uh, took into the designing the new Viper? Yeah, sure, Javier. So the, it wasn't like there's shared parts. Specifically, it was more of the technology. Um, Chrysler um, and SRT, we, we uh, build typically higher volume cars. So, so we're very good at making things, you know, that lots of people can buy, like right? minivans and Jeeps and Ram yeah. trucks and lots of great products. But, but the truth is that, you know, we were less experienced in this extreme low volume supercar. And as we wanted to take the new Viper up market in terms of having just a world-class interior, we needed to learn about how you do that. And so um, because we're a sister company with Ferrari now, we went directly with them, and Ferrari opened their doors and shared with us, here's how we make these parts for Ferraris. And so while we're not using the same parts... It's just the like the, the processes, numbers, yeah. 
Yes, exactly. We went and studied, you know, with them for several weeks, you know, the, every step of how you do this, and then, and then brought that technology back to the United States where we do this here. So. And, um, and so uh, I know that Ferrari and other uh, high-performance cars um, are, are, can be ordered. Is this the same case? Can, can, can consumers go and order their cars, uh, the color, the way they want it, and the, the interior, the leather, etc.? Absolutely. In fact, um, Javier, we're working on um, another even more special program uh, that, that Viper alone can offer among American sports cars. Um, very soon, you're going to be able to come uh, order a factory custom paint job um, where you can literally pick from hundreds of shades of paint and And chances are very good that you'd have the only Viper ever painted by the same people that do the full custom paint job on the, the cars every day. They'll, they'll paint the color of the car you select. That's a new thing we're going to be offering very shortly this spring. So, um, but if you, if you didn't want to go through all of that, you can certainly come in. We offer all kinds of outstanding colors, just you know, among 12 on the car to choose from, striker greens and, and race yellows and all kinds of gorgeous colors on the car yeah, excellent you didn't want to do a custom paint job. well thank you very much again for your time and uh i'll um i'll report back uh, next week uh, after i driven the car okay all right Javier. thanks very much for taking a look at the viper and enjoy thank you very much ya regresamos con la prueba del kia k900 2015 el auto de super lujo del fabricante coreano esto es auto 060 yo soy javier Mosa.